CJ Stroud and Jordan Love going into this season, if you were listening to our show during the summer, I, I brought this up with Joe a lot. I think that people are going to be comparing CJ Stroud and Jordan Love at least during the first half of the season and debating whether or not they should add them to the cool kids club when it comes to quarterbacks in the National Football League. Are they on the same tier as a Patrick Mahomes or a Lamar Jackson or Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, among others? Are they in that conversation? I think people here believe, for the most part, that Stroud is there already. And I think a lot of people would raise an eyebrow about Jordan Love potentially being involved. But we're going to do an exercise here. I'm going to give Sean Mapes, our producer behind the glass, two numbers. And Sean has to guess which one is CJ Stroud and which one is Jordan Love. Touchdown passes in 2024. 10, 12. I'm pretty confident Stroud is 10. CJ Stroud does have 10 touchdown yeah. passes. Jordan Love, in just four games, has 12 touchdown passes. Oh, yeah, he missed time. Too. To CJ Stroud's 10. That is actually surprising. Yeah. You would think that just by missing playing, two games. That you, <laughs> right. Or playing two more games yeah. that Stroud would have more touchdown passes than Love. Not true. Yards per attempt. Quarterback number one, 7.6. Quarterback number two, 7.7. .7. For those who haven't listened to me a whole lot, I believe that yards per attempt is the best way to determine how much chutzpah your quarterback has. Yeah. Neither of them are like super high. Um, I'll go. The shorter one is CJ. Yes. CJ Stroud, 7.6 yards per attempt. Jordan loves 7.7. <laughs> it is a point one difference. And my entire thinking was, well, he's thrown a lot of touchdowns in less games. So he's probably throwing the ball farther. Right. Which is again, the difference is point one, but that was my reasoning. It also helps to have a smaller sample size, you would think. Yeah, yeah, a big definitely. player, too, is going to help you out. Yards per game. Okay. Quarterback number one, 262.833. Quarterback number two, 282.75 yards per game. Uh, Stroud, 283. Nope. It is uh -huh. Jordan Love, who is averaging mo more yards per attempt. More, more yards, yards per yeah. game and has more touchdown passes to this point of the year. Not looking good for CJ Stroud to this point, huh? No. More numbers. Quarterback number one has been sacked 16 times. <laughs> Quarterback number two has been sacked four times. <laughs> Stroud's been sacked 16 times. Stroud has been sacked 16 <laughs> times. Again, this is making Jordan Love look better than uh, CJ uh, Stroud. He missed he missed a couple games, so <laughs> he hasn't that could be eight if he played more. Don't worry, Stroud boys. We've got some more stats. Okay. But the first four numbers purposefully <laughs> make willing, Jordan Love look a little bit better. I'm willing than Stroud. to call yards per attempt. That's a wash. Okay. That's a wash. But it is th three zero oh, and one in favor of uh Love. Okay. Interceptions. Quarterback one has four. Quarterback two has six. Uh, love, love through six. Love has six interceptions. He threw three games. in one game. He throws a lot of interceptions, yeah. though. If there's anything that you can nitpick with Love, it's that he farves it. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's how I remember because he wore the farve jersey and then went like three touchdowns, three interceptions. And we're talking about. On the field farving, yes. Not off the field farving, yes. which is a I don't know variety he, of bad. I don't know what he's texting, right? And and we don't know what he's texting. We don't know if he's stealing from any governments. We also don't know if he is a jeans guy. Brett Favre, big jeans guy. Wrangler jeans, yeah. Quarterback rating. Okay. As we continue to compare statistics between C.J. Stroud and Jordan Love, quarterback one, ninety-eight point six quarterback rating. Quarterback two, 
Um, 96 is love. 98.6? Or 98.6. That's Stroud. Oh. 93.7, Jordan Love. I, I guess it's the interceptions, I guess. I think it's that. Yeah. Because he's thrown, he's thrown what, three touchdowns a game? <laughs> also, completion percentage. I believe Stroud is a better completion percentage. Uh, I did okay. not put that in here, okay. though. Okay. QBR. QB1, 66.3. QB2, 57.6. Uh. The 66 is Stroud. That is Stroud. You're yeah, right. Because he had the higher pet. The QBR and passer rating aren't that much different. For as much as they, I don't know why it deserves to be two columns on the stat sheet. It is pretty similar. QBR believes there's a bigger gap between Stroud and Love than quarterback rating. I get it. Yeah. It's closer okay. with quarterback rating on a 158.3 scale. I don't know how many people saw that um, Saturday Night Live skit with. Uh, who is that stand-up? Was it Nate Bargatze? The from a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's showing all of those crazy American metrics and things, and saying we're going to do all these yeah, things. Yeah, the George the, Washington thing, right? Yeah. Instead of the way that the English do, quarterback rating weirder than anything we do. Oh, well, yeah. Why couldn't they not just put QPR being one to one hundred? That's easy. I get that. Great. I don't know what goes into why the numbers are different, but I love it. Just make quarterback rating out of just 100. Just divide it. Especially <laughs> since we have had quarterback rating a lot much, longer than yeah, QBR. Yeah, we didn't need a new stat. We just need one that made more sense. Okay, back to the game. More comparisons between CJ so Stroud and Jordan Love. Stroud's I won the last, what, two or three? Stroud's won the last three. Three okay. less interceptions, higher quarterback rating, higher QBR. This is where Stroud starts to separate himself to a degree. Fourth quarter stats who's got the better numbers? Oh, QB1 has a 63.6 percent completion percentage, 8.8 .8 yards per attempt, three touchdowns, and one interception in the fourth quarter. QB2, a 70 percent completion percentage. 8.2 yards per attempt, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. I'm going to guess the two interceptions is Jordan Love. Actually, it's C.J. Stroud. Really? Yeah. Wow. So Stroud's fourth quarter numbers in terms of yards per I, attempt. I guess they, and it, yeah. And in interceptions, he's got two. Stroud's had a couple of bad yeah, fourth quarter interceptions. Yeah, I, for, I forgot the, uh, in my mind, it's the third quarter is the one where everyone tweets fire Bobby Slowick. I forgot that some of that bleeds into the fourth quarter, too. Continuing third down statistics. Oh, this is CJ. Oh, yeah. Quarterback one, 45.5% completion percentage, 6.5 yards per attempt, five touchdowns, two interceptions. Quarterback two on third down, 68.9% completion percentage. Nice. Averaging 8.9 yards per attempt, two touchdowns, one interception. 8.9 yards per attempt is CJ Stroud. It is insane. <laughs> Because because they pick up first downs on third and ten, so <laughs> he has to throw it pretty far. Stroud's fourth down numbers, by the way, five for five. He has completed all of his passes, eight point two yards per attempt average, wow. and one touchdown. Wow. Stroud on third or fourth down, yeah, clutch has been money, and here is where a certain quarterback I think really runs away with it. Stats while trailing, QB one. 59.5% completion percentage, 8.7 yards per attempt, seven touchdowns, four interceptions. Quarterback two, 73.5% completion percentage, 9.2 yards per attempt, four touchdowns, one interception. Quarterback two, Stroud. Quarterback two's numbers, and it is C.J. Stroud, when trailing, are insane. And yeah. people can say, oh, garbage time, like they said the first couple of weeks of last year. When Strouds needed to do something this year, yeah. they have done it. Yeah, because they tra I mean, they trailed in in uh, the fourth quarter of some of these, some of these, uh, the Bills, the Jags game. Right. So it's not game. all Vikings when they're down three touchdowns. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and and they also, trailed against the Colts too. They did. He has been very clutch, and I think that's the difference between Stroud and Love. You trust Stroud 
in those situations yeah. on a level that you don't quite trust Jordan Love yet. And statistically, they are similar. Love is doing better in some categories, but I think Stroud's more accurate and more careful, doesn't turn the ball over as much. And again, those numbers at the end, toughest of situations, he elevates his game. There yeah. are numbers to back that up. That that's the CJ Stroud difference, really. Is like that perfectly matches up with watching watching him play. The eye test watching him play is that CJ Stroud in the you gotta have it scenarios, you feel really good. So I mean, that is an interesting kind of game of if you just look at the most superficial of these numbers. Yeah. All the court or, or different quarterbacks look the same. And then if you watch the games or if you look at some of the the clutch time stuff or third down stuff that that's when the cream kind of rises to the top and that's where we all go yeah that's that's what makes CJ Stroud better is correct that kind of stuff 